Hello, anybody who's watching this. Welcome to Internet Historians, to my reaction to Internet Historians, very serious business. Now I can't even tell what's going to happen in this. And last one was the end of the world in the title, so I kind of could guess a bit that it's going to be about some kind of apocalypse. Yeah. Uh, if you have a video you want me to react, uh, you can use a donation link in my description below, uh, or you, you can just help me financially through it. Now let's begin. This video is sponsored by Raid, Raid Shadow, Shadow Legends. Legends. Hmm. Okay. Business not now. It's gonna be later. Is important. Oh, is it? Business is professional. Hmm? Not business all the time. is the engine in the car on the road that drives us forward to our journey. Damn it. There is no I in business. Welcome to the seminar. Okay. Serious business. Wow. 101. First slide, please. It's August 6th, 2013, and we're okay. at a conference in Nashville, Tennessee. Agile 2013. What's Agile? Well, yeah. it's yeah. blah, 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 blah. That bit's not terribly important. What matters? is that okay. this is a very professional environment. Oh. Keynotes, panels, networking. You're fascinating to talk to. And a quirky little idea. Ooh. Interactive display boards. Oh. Five of these placed across the convention grounds, in lobbies, the cafeteria, gathering grounds. Mm -hmm. And there's a brilliant innovation to go with them. An automatic Twitter feed. Simply use the hashtag Agile2013 and your unmoderated message will appear on the board. I don't think that's a good it idea. It displays images. What an amazing idea, you guys. And people were loving it. Giving feedback. Showing their pride. It was all going great. Okay. For a whole 87 minutes. When mm. one attendee had a very unprofessional idea. Oh, no. He takes a photo of one of the displays and posts it to a certain message board with the following text. Hello, B. I come to you in a time of great need. Five giant screens. Ridiculous avatars, gore, and trap imagery would be much appreciated. Please, pretty please. Well, we'd better test this out. So people logged into Twitter, okay. wrote something dumb with the hashtag Agile2013, and hit send. A minute later... A new photo comes up on the message board. Confirmation. Oh, oh, oh. So there was everyone enjoying the conference. When suddenly... We're in this convention where I find the Zimmerman themed butt plugs. My daddy never had big man talk with me. How do I make baby? I want baby. And from there it escalated. All right. As a guy having sex concerning with a dead person in the Asia, toilet, you should be find me. Is there I will let you have making some tongue-punching fart. Asia should be ignored. Is there, there only good for making nine electronics? Now it didn't take long for agile organizers to notice. Agile Alliance does not approve of the misuse of the hashtag. And here was the fatal mistake. They thought it's only like three trolls from Twitter. It's no problem. So they rallied their troops, telling them to fight back with the report spam function. Well, said B. If they want war, we'll give them war. All right. And honestly, what they happened? took it too far. They started posting increasingly reprehensible stuff on the timeline, to the point where all of the other attendees were drowned out by a deluge of horrific images. Their reporting was slow and ineffective against people making alt accounts. Yeah. So with each passing minute, they were losing more ground. A couple of agile attendees stuck their heads up over the trenches and drew targeted fire. Looks like the feed is being spammed pretty badly. Maybe time to switch hashtags. I can't be the only one reporting all these people. Why doesn't Twitter make them go away? Lisa is giving free toss jobs at the main screens. <laughs> Flailing round of- I'm blocking and blocking, but they keep coming up. Eventually, someone from B offered some useful advice. Have you tried getting the cyber police involved? How do I contact these cyber police? But tragically, the cyber police never came. Oh, Report no. them! Stop them! cried one of the organizers. But it was no use. And soon he was targeted too, with his profile and personal pictures shopped into compromising positions. Then those shops were, of course, posted back onto the Agile hashtag. Eventually, Agile had had enough. And they surrendered. 
disabling the Agile 2013 hashtag. And that was the end of it. Or was it? Because it turns out there was another functioning hashtag, Agile2. And once B figured that out, they took to destroying that as well. And that really was the end of it. Or was, or was it? it? Because B found the host website. Oh. They went straight to the source, uploading content directly to the displays. And that really, really was the end. The next day, the only thing on the displays was this message. We are working on shutting down the Eventifier site. We are reporting abusive accounts. We are also trying to find all other sources and shut them down as well. I'm sorry. And that was the tragedy that befell the gay lord ops. Wait, what? Very unprofessional, you guys. Slide two, please. But first. What a joke about that? Shadow Man here with Raid Shadow, Shadow, Shadow Legend. Yeah, yeah, I know what that is. You don't have to do a hard sell on me. It's fine. Are you playing yet? That for the next. Thank you. Is a business. Sorry. Where was I? McDonald's. Maybe I should watch it. I don't know. It's a pleasure. It's a pleasure. It's a pleasure. I don't know the etiquette of reacting to content that has ads in the middle of it. Should I watch the ads? Is that a good thing for the person I'm reacting to? Even if I will get 10 views. So, 10 views of people who probably. No, probably, definitely, already seen the content. So, is there a point? Okay. In January of 2012, they had a Ooh. brilliant idea. Let us improve brand perception with Twitter. Let us appeal to the common man with hashtag meet the farmers. A campaign what? that informs them that our meat only comes from local, independent producers. And not from, as the papers report, orphanages. So they published this promo. And I don't think I've ever gone to work a day in my life. <laughs> and... Success! Hell yeah, lads. Another win as usual. People were loving it. Stop showing chicken nuggets, I'm hungry. They had their usual detractors, of course, but overall, good stuff. So they swapped out this hashtag with a new one. McDee's Stories. And here's where things took a turn. They wanted the Twitter public to tell their experiences at McDonald's. Uh-oh. <laughs> Obviously, only good things ever happen at McDonald's. This yeah. is going to be a slam dunk. Let us shake hands in confidence at our imminent success. Good idea to give public so the access. stories premiered on the Twitter homepage and... Do anything. Uh -oh. Within five minutes, it was clear that people weren't going to harp on about the time they got a free extra sauce with their McNuggets. Instead, they were going to tell McHorror stories. Here's just a select few. Stories. A McFingernail in my fries. A woman McSoliciting McSex in the drive through lane. I looked this one up, by the way, it's true. Wow. My friend claims that Ronald McDonald exposed himself to her as a child. Awful. McRats in the buns. Oh, yikes, this one's real, too. Go back there oh. in the bun area. You're going to find at least three racks stop. that got droppings on them. Oh, God, make it stop. Someone stop it now. But it was gaining traction. Yeah, more and more people was. were publishing their negative stories on the hashtag. And once they had used all those up, it progressed to just making up stuff for shock value. I ate my a kid, and I'm pretty sure that's why my father left. Closed eyes, sad face. I once saw... Uh, I can't say that. <laughs> but that'll make anyone grimace. Thank you, thank you. Within two hours, they pulled down the advertising campaign and, in its stead, put up a far more innocuous little things hashtag. They had a few minor trolls there too, but it quickly faded into obscurity. Oh. The media jumped on the story, case studies were written, and lessons were learned about not giving the public an in. Yeah? Or were they? July 1st, 2016. Create oh. your own custom burger on this McDonald's website. Bun, meat patty, semen. Name your creation. Have it published on the website. Then vote on the best one and it will become an official item on the menu. You knew where this was going to go. I knew where this was going to go. Mm. How did McDonald's not? Out of touch people. A poem, if you will. 
the sad European, a thin privilege to go, bag of lettuce, no tissues, a mein Kampf, just so. The atheist delight, with a side of fries, the toddler body bag, with double ketchup surprise, Pepe the sandwich, a rectal prolapse half-baked, pound my behind daddy, comes with a shake, huh? girth, the Aryan, a vision of Christ, a whole pineapple with your meal for ten times the price. A tip for my lady, this one's gluten free. It's still not too late to vote for Bernie. It is. Whopper, no onions. Anatomical sandwich. Just, just grow up, you guys. Now, if you'll Why? excuse me, I have to shower off Ron's creamy surprise. See, this, this is you, you fucking clown. I mean, yeah. Naturally, the press seized on it as much as the general public did, laughing at all the dumb sandwiches while also condemning them. Guys, come on, guys, this isn't funny, come on. The website was shut down and not much remains. Except for these. And also this text document I found, which has a bunch of other sandwich names. Yo. What ingredients were involved and what they look like, though, you'll have to use your imagination. Next slide, well, please. I want to. Prophylactics a serious business. Let us shake hands in both a fun and safe oh, manner. Oh, I see this one is ribbed for my pleasure. Early 2013, Jurex launches a revolutionary new app. SOS condoms. Download, select the product, enter Delivery? your location, and a condom will be delivered to you within an hour. Oh, what? Perfect timing. Their emphasis was on discretion and anonymity when delivering the goods, and the delivery drivers were in disguise. Pizza delivery guy, police officer. I'm not sure that's legal. A gimmick to yeah. be sure. And some people thought it was an out of season April Fool's joke. But people tried it out and it really worked. So they rolled the service out over the tip of Dubai, of all places. But after its first week, the yeah. government shut it down, citing it as promoting promiscuity. Booted out, they had yeah, a tough time deciding where to launch next. Hey, Jimmy. Guys, guys, let's let the audience decide with another online poll. Oh, for fuck's sake. So people jumped on the website and started voting. I will be voting for a Krispy Kreme donut place. Tens of thousands of votes were counted, with some of the major mm. contenders being Paris, Singapore, Kuala Lumpur, and London. From South Africa to move away from this. But all of them were outshined. What? With the most votes counted for Batman. A small conservative Muslim city in Turkey. I see. An object lesson in the dangers of tampering with the laws of Mother Nature. The internet rejoiced. Another marketing campaign to add to the KD ratio. A Facebook post went out from SOS Condoms congratulating Batman and to stay tuned for more to come. But there was no more to come, so to speak. There wasn't. The campaign was promptly stopped. It'd SOS be stupid Condoms to continue. never opened in Batman. SOS condoms never opened anywhere ever again. They went silent for months. Everyone moved on. SOS condoms deleted their account mm. and slipped forever away into obscurity. Until? Pizza is serious oh, no. business. Okay. DiGiorno does frozen pizza and they have a substantial social media presence. Mm. Domestic violence is bad. Bold statements only on this channel. Yeah. Well, Twitter had a hashtag for National opinion. Domestic Violence Awareness Day. People were sharing their harrowing stories with the hashtag Why I Stayed. These okay. were all quite serious and dealt with some delicate and sensitive issues. A weird Here comes the Jorno, campaign, throwing okay. on the accelerator, no fucks given, driving right through the front door. They had pizza. Ooh. Hee hee hee, that was a great tweet. I bet everyone is loving it. Oh, I see. I thought the journal created the hashtag. But what? They just didn't know what the hashtag was about, I guess? Because only insane person would do that as a joke. As a company, at least. Precisely 0 0.1 seconds after they posted it, they must have realized it wasn't the wisest move. And they apologized, but the media got involved. So they kept apologizing. I'm sorry. They couldn't I'm sorry. stop I'm apologizing. Sorry. I'm sorry. They just. I promise you never again. Kept I'm so sorry. At it was terrible. They I couldn't be more sorry. But please accept my deepest apologies. Relax. I am sorry. 
Naming your baby is serious business. Put it to the internet, this Canadian couple said. Trust in the kindness and sensibility of strangers. It was Cthulhu Allspark. Next. <laughs> Do you know what kerning is? It's important in print. It's essentially the proportional spacing between fonts. Why does it matter? Well, sometimes two letters close to each other can look like a single letter. Oh, for God's sake. All right, stop. I guess. Let me finish up with a little bit of a behind the meme style history lesson. Oh. In the early 2010s, brands were only just finding their foothold in social media. They didn't quite understand how to connect with their audience. The tendency was to be a bit overly formal, stuffy, not quite fun. That is until Denny's came along with a game-changing Tumblr account. They started actually having a good time, and it appealed to fellow Zoomers, such as myself. It took a little while, but soon other brands cottoned on. How is this internet historian? Am I older than him, really? To the strategy. Oh. Arby's started posting memes. Good for you. Wendy's dropped a mixtape. And then went into a WWE style feud back and forth with Burger King and McDonald's. And Gen Zers, such as myself, lapped it up. How do you do, fellow kids? Now, that's not to say they all figured it out. Other brands attempted it too, but without committing fully, they failed to get the same appeal. So, into the late 20 teens, things were going pretty great. It was a little content renaissance. Chick fil A is officially America's favorite fast food restaurant. Imagine if we opened on Sundays, had to give everyone else, like Wendy's, a chance to make money. Your mom is a hoe. Steakums even broke down the whole phenomenon on Twitter and in articles. And I'd like to turn that into a full video soon. Steakum? But with all these relatable what memes floating around, people were starting to feel a little pandered to. <laughs> Very relatable. Yeah. Nice. That's, that's relatable. Wow. Yep. Relatable. Hmm. Relatable. Wow. Okay. Everything's getting so fucking relatable, it's actually kind of annoying. Yeah. Guys, we get it. You're relatable. I just... It just stop relating. Stop. Stop. Enough. That's it. I can't take it anymore. All right. Silence, brand. And so a new meme was born. The spider crab with laser eyes, aerial font 32 point, white on black bar background, no shadow with text. Silence, comma, brand. And it was a very powerful tool. Eminem's pushing something or other. Take that brand. Hey, fellow Gen Zers, silence brand. And it became a long and enduring meme. OMG, I feel that. That is such a mood. Relatable AF. Silence. <laughs> Sometimes a few brands could crack through it. Silence Twitter. But for the most part, this crab has become the quality control of Twitter. An well, apex predator shutting down lesser brands. God bless it. Alright, it's time to stop. That's enough business for today. Oh. Thank you for attending my seminar. The Here are the patrons. Thank you very much. I love Mwah. Mwah. See you at movie night. Mwah. Also, uh, I have other videos on the second channel. Sonic cried a little, and Tails put his hand under his face to catch the tears. The chef should have dipped some on his finger and then insisted that the host. <laughs> <laughs> And also, Shadow Raid Legions on the Nintendo GameCube. It's actually really fun to play while you're watching telly. And... I doubt it. Anyway, but Nintendo GameCube. No, uh, that's fun. Probably is. I don't know. Uh, it's very fun if you want to sponsor me. <laughs> Nobody wants to sponsor me. Why would they? Anyway. Okay, this is great. <laughs> Internet Historian is a great channel to learn stuff that happened. Especially if it is on the internet. I guess everything is on the internet, more or less. Anyway, thank you anybody who watched this. I hope to see you next time. Goodbye. Hurry life, because one of us has to.